Bonsoir. Hello. Welcome to the John Garland Show from Nice in the south of France, in my loft at home. Uh, I had someone comment on my video that I posted, <laughs> posted my last show on a um, Facebook page, and the guy was like, you should get a real job. <laughs> I'm like, uh, this is my real job. <laughs> I just don't have a place to sing in person right now. Hi, John. Hi, Bill. Hi, Mata. Hello, sir. So, yeah, I've like, I've gotten, that's like my third mean comment. Mostly I get like all great, nice, sweet, cool comments, but, but yeah, this guy's like, that was a waste of my time. Get a real job. And I'm like, um, coronavirus? Hello? Like, <laughs> anyway, it just kind of, uh, it would have bothered me before, but now it just kind of cracks me up. Hey, Jason. Hello, Ella, darling. Ella, darling. So, um, but speaking of, um, I did talk to the manager, Chris, at BrewDog. Hi, Brian. And, uh, Brian, I'm on a job. <laughs> and, um, they are starting to allow some music. But also, there have to be enough clientele to kind of support things. So I think I will be singing at BrewDog soon. Uh, I haven't talked to Mike at Le Truc yet. I actually have meant to already go there, but I have, I've been out to eat twice, but I have not actually done any bar activities just yet. Hi, Jason, Michael, Mary, hi, or I'm sorry, Mark. Sorry, God, my vision's getting worse and worse. Sweet baby Jesus. Anyway, so I should be getting back in. Hi, Ronnie's. I can, I, I know what your picture, even though you did a tiny picture, I know what your, I know what it looks like. I know what you. So for those of, who, of you who like to play the little drinking game along, hi, Derek, where when I white sweat or say sweet baby Jesus or I need reading glasses. Um, and then we added one recently, but anyway, I started Sangria a little early, so I'm just going to say Sweet Baby Jesus times like 10. So if you guys need to catch up on drinks, if you want to, if not, of course, obviously don't. But in case anyone wants to catch up with where I'm at, you can do so. So today, let's see, what is today? Today is Monday. I normally go to the antique market. Hi, Mom. Hi, Bob. Normally go to the antique market on Mondays, but I had to handle some bank business and some other stuff and some other things and pamper Dozer a little bit. I must have pampered him too much because he left part of a grilled cheese sandwich with lots of butter uneaten. So that just tells me that apparently I've given, <laughs> I've given him so many spoiled puppy dog snacks lately that he's just like, I can't eat any more grilled cheese, daddy. So, uh, I was like, who, who are you and what have you done with Dozer? <laughs> anyway. So, good evening, everyone. Hope everyone's having a good day. Um, this will be kind of like a slow to medium as far as... Hi, hey, Harvey. Hello, sir. So kind of a slow to medium show, a little on the slower side, and you know, a little few upbeat things thrown in. I like to say, I like to do the more dancey stuff on Saturday, and John knows I'm working on a new song for Saturday, and I'm trying to sprinkle in some new things here, so. But I like to start slow. Be the same. 
Supreme Court victory today. I'm reading all over Facebook that um, 45 tried to take away the uh, LGBT employment protections. And thank you, sweet baby Jesus, that was overturned because uh, even though I don't live in the U.S., I would like for people to not be able to just be fired for such reasons. It was hard enough for me to get promotions and raises already without just getting flat out fired. Um, even though I think when I was there, that was okay too. So, <laughs> but anyway, very big victory. So I'm happy for that. Um, at least he didn't screw that up. So that's much appreciated. He tried, but it didn't happen. So... Hmm. What shall we do? I've been being very good about putting playlists together in advance lately, but my internet went out and blah, 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 and, and, you know, whatever. Not you guys don't, that's not your problem. But anyway, I had a few little setbacks today. So, I'm picking as I go. Hmm. Ah, haven't done this lately. And my internet's still out. Thankfully, I think I have unlimited uh, uh, internet on my phone. Uh, so we'll see how big of a bill I get for this Facebook Live or not. I think it's unlimited. So I'll, f I'll find that out. <laughs> Oh, good Lord, come on. Ah, here we go. Hello, Charlotte. Angela, darling. Thank you. 
Exactly, Angela. Thank you. I tried to answer that, but it didn't all come out. So if I know it, I will try or do something similar. And if not, then if it fits my voice, I try to do it in the future. But mm, I'm not the most focused person in the world. Hi, Chad. DJ, hello, hello. Michelle again. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I give all the credit to the Sangria and my grandmama. Yes. Let's see. Like I said, this, today is one of those pick as I go days, so. Hmm. I don't know. This, this song, sometimes I like how it comes out, and sometimes I don't, so. We shall see. And then I don't totally remember what I sang the last time. You know, you know how that goes, you know. Oh, so I'm excited. I'm going uh, tomorrow to speak to one of the, well, thank you, mom. Hi, Simo. Yeah, well, like we were saying just a moment ago, sometime, if it's something I know, I will try to do a request, and if I don't know it, then I will look into it possibly for later. Oh, sorry, I'm missing some of these. Hello, Mike Bear. Hello, Mike. So, so yeah, I'm going to meet one of the, one of the beach restaurants tomorrow afternoon about possibly singing there, and then I'm hoping to get back into BrewDog soon. And then, so they're starting to just now allow some live music back in Nice, um, but no dancing. It's like um, the Kevin Bacon movie, no dancing, because you might accidentally like breathe on each other and stuff uh, or get pregnant or God knows what. The devil's dance, the dancing's the devil's play thing or something. Anyway. Good Lord, Sangria is delicious. Oh, well, that I can do. Sycamore tree, dream a little dream. 
actually. Hello, Ben. Hello, hello. Thank you, guys. So, I don't know if it was the last show or show before that, when I told you guys about the, the share dream, and uh, because I drink too much wine, and I was talking to my friend who's a share um, impersonator, <laughs> and I dreamt about hanging out with Cher all night, the real Cher. Um, so, my friend Wayne Smith, who does amazing share not only for many, many years, and started, and was at Le Cage au Fou, um, I will thank you, Sir Richard. So, uh, actually, um, Wayne does his own live singing as Cher, not lip sync. And um, so, we talked, and we might do a little... Uh, either a Facebook Live or video or something that we will post of us doing a duet together. Um, so that might be some, something that comes about in the future at some point. Mm, who knows, perhaps.
So yeah, that's the funny thing about singing is like if it's really high, no problem. Or kind of a little low, okay. But that mid range, sometimes, sometimes it cracks out a little bit. <laughs> Hi Mark. Hi Judy. Hello everyone. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why recorded things are so lovely because you, you don't have to worry about those little screw ups, but yeah, it happens, you know. I know, I think I've mentioned this before, but I don't know who, who else saw it, but I was lucky enough and blessed enough to get to see Bette Midler do Hello Dolly in New York on Broadway. And she totally like knocked over a glass <laughs> In, in the middle of a scene and she just stopped and said that's show business um, so it was fun it was still in previews at that point actually I think so yeah the magic of live live whatever live life live life even hmm let's see uh, ah. this is a song I've not done before Brand new for moi, poor moi, but um, an older song. So I'll just go ahead and, and let you guys know. I might be able to do that a little bit later on. Um, I have a couple things I'll do first, but then I will, I will look at that. Um, so a lot of people, everyone's been very sweet to ask about my little, my little dog dozer. And we went to the vet and we're trying new medicine, but his brain is, his mind wants to do things that his body just can't quite do. So, um, so yeah, I've just been spoiling him a lot and having cuddles and, and just enjoying my time with him. Uh, but I always call him, even though I, I'm not really like a big, uh, fan of like, like, orangutans or whatever, but I always call him my little, he's my little monkey. So he's my little monkey. And then I, it, I suddenly thought I used to love, and I think my sister Tammy introduced me to this. You know, when you used to, we used to join those tape clubs and you would buy like 10 cassettes for a penny or whatever, and then you would get sucked in and you'd end up getting crap you didn't want. And getting a bill and then you ruin your credit before you were 15. <laughs> I know most of you guys know all about that. But it was a good way to discover new music and older music. And that's how I, so calling him my little monkey made me think of the monkeys.
like, love that. Oh, well, thank you so much. I love red wine and scotch both, so I will take that as a, a big compliment. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. So, yeah, I like, I think the, the monkeys have, and I, I watched a, I don't know, VH1 behind the music or some crap like that. Thank you for the, the heart applause. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but yeah, they were like totally underappreciated because, I mean, of course, I guess they were like the sitcom version of the Beatles, but they came out with all this great music that they really wanted to do more of themselves and were way more popular than they really get credit for. Aw, well thank you, Sir Richard, I'm glad. And as long, wait, hold on. Lord knows I don't want to run out of sangria. Sweet baby Jesus, what would we do? So Angela's going to the beach club with me tomorrow. Uh, Angela, are we having lunch or drinks or just going to check it out? Because, you know, I don't want to have an empty, an empty bear tummy. I need to know if I'm going to be eating some food. Dave Clark 5. I don't know Dave Clark 5. I know Ben Vold's 5. I don't know Dave Clark 5. Ella, you... You have some interesting tastes, sweetie. You're, we're, when you get back here, we're going to have to just, like, have an evening of wine and listening to music so you can share some of these things with me a bit more. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll have to go back and look. But as long as we're on the monkey train, so to speak, I'm going to see if I can do this without screwing it up. <laughs> Except for like 
you know, at home and in the shower or whatever. But I don't know why I didn't think about singing them properly sooner because I love these songs. So there may be some more monkeys flying your way. Flying monkeys. Flying monkeys! Abdul, hello. Hello. Bonsoir. Let's see. What shall we do now? Good grief, this time goes by fast. An hour goes by quick. I mean, I mean, at the bar, if I'm in a bar or restaurant or doing a show, I'm usually singing like three plus hours. So it's like an hour's like, boom. It's crazy. Crazy. Hmm. Where's the song I'm looking for? Good grief. Somebody's all revving up their motor outside. It's like I'm back in Texas. Good Lord. Sweet baby Jesus. I have not done an Elton or a uh, or a Garth yet. Oh my goodness, that's just unacceptable. Hold on, I need a drink. A drink. That's what my what my uncle used to say. A drink back in the day, which I actually kind of is is endearing. I like that. It's very very East Texas and. Makes me think of home. Hmm. Good Lord, it's good I don't live in Spain. Oh, thank you, Judy. You're such a sweetheart. The clock does work, actually. But if I have it going when I sing, then it... It dings the hour, like ding, 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 two separate times, and then the half hour once. So it just, you know, it, th it throws things off a bit. So I have to keep it stopped a lot. But yes, it works perfectly, actually. Okay, where was I at? Ah, here we go. <laughs>
desolate exhausting for a fat kid. Lord Jesus. Sweet baby Jesus. Oh, well, <laughs> well thank you, Judy. If you can send me instructions on how to do that, that would be great. I need to, thank you, Bill. I plan to move all my Facebook live shows to YouTube, which Angela told me how to do, or showed me how to do, or gave me instructions to, but I haven't done it yet. Because, you know, stuff and wine and things and puppies and things and stuff and, and stuff, you know, life is, you know, pandemics and things, but I will at some point do that. But if I can do it at the same time, that would be fantastic. Whew. That would be lovely. That would be lovely. Wouldn't it be lovely? Oh, so lovely, said Naps of Bloom and Still, I would never budge till spring crept over me when the sill. I played Eliza in high school. No, sorry. <laughs> I didn't really, but. <laughs> If you know what that line is from, who can say it first? I played Eliza in high school. Anybody know what movie that's from? Anyone, anyone, anyone? If you're a niece, you'll get a big um, hug with a mask from me if you know the answer to that question. <gasps> no one. Hmm. Think Nathan Lane. Anyone? I played Eliza in high school. Oh, what am I them for? Sweet baby Lord Jesus. Oh, thanks, Richard. Okay, nobody's answer, so I'll tell you. It's from the birdcage with uh, Nathan Lane in, in drag with uh, Robin Williams. And uh, they were... <laughs> Anyway, it's it's a good it's one of those movies you just like have some drinks and and watch over and over again. There's just a handful of those, you know. Oh Lord. Okay, so ah, okay. So I this was mentioned earlier, so I shall do this.
Bonsoir, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are very welcome. Oof. So hap ah, happy Monday, everyone. Here's to Mondays. It's two meters away. Oh. <laughs> It took me a minute. <laughs> okay, I still got to learn some new Garth. I'm getting there. And some other new things I'm working on. But I haven't done this one in a little bit. Blame all my rooms. I showed up and do.
that I adore are friends with the cousin of Prince Rainier in Monaco. And I was like, really? Because one of my big, big goals is I would love, because I've, I wanted to sing at the Grand Hotel de Cap, Cap Ferrat, and that happened oddly quickly. And then I sang at the Carlton and at the Cannes Film Festival for a luncheon. And so my next big goal is to sing for the Prince of Monaco. And I'm thinking that this year, <laughs> I'm thinking this year this is gonna happen. So that's, that's this year's goal is to, um, I don't know, I mean, can, do, do like royal households still have like their own, I'm like, I could, I could be the like in-house, in-palace singer slash court gesture. I mean, I, I'll wear a little outfit with some bells. I mean, as long as it pays good, I don't give a crap. As long as it pays good and I got my, and I got my medical. Of course, your medical doesn't matter because you get that anyway. Lord, in the U.S., it's like medical's better. That's more important than the salary. But here, that's just, that's just, you just get that anyway. But yeah, I'll wear some bells. Hell, hell's bells. Yeah, I'll wear some bells, whatever. Court gesture, singer, whatever. Whatevs. So, I'm going to end this evening on this. Something a little upbeat. I love you guys. Thank you again for everyone who supports me and makes donations and who sends me messages and who has messaged and replied to check on Dozer. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Thank you for giving me a purpose here to help all of the nichois and part-time nichois and abroad nichois and friends of to kind of stay together and keep me in practice while all of this craziness is going on. So we will leave on something upbeat and I, as you may know, Monday, Thursday, Saturday, once I get live gigs, then I may either broadcast from those or I will keep doing some shows from home. Once I, once I find out, I will let you guys know. So, love you, thank you so much.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Josh. Stu. Hello. Hello. So thank, thank you for spending your evening or afternoon with me, depending on where in the world literally you are. Uh, if you're in France or you're in the UK or in Finland or in Brazil or in Texas or Georgia or California and so forth and so on. Love you guys. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and chatting with each other and and making, you know, it's, it's, I don't know. I mean, it's great that I'm doing this from my home, but it's, it just, it's very awesome that everyone just kind of chats and it's just kind of like we're out, hey Alec, out at the bar hanging out and chatting. Um, that's, I really appreciate that and I enjoy it. And so, love you guys. I will see you Thursday and Saturday. And um, yeah, I'll see you then. Have a good night. Bonsoir, bonne nuit, ciao, bye.